Champions Day at Ascot kicks off. Week 11 on the flat, and it's the long distance. Two miler, first of all. That's a group two. At the top, we've got George Orwell for Paul Rhodes. El Paso, Jewel, Vinnie Gerard, Airborne, Ellis, David Robertson. Anaheim, Primo for Vinnie Gerard. Clip Bales for Satyam. Drop Fall, David Robertson. Go Forth, my son, Joshua Sutherland. Hills, Patchy, Dan Hughes. Lady Macbeth, Leon by Rensburg. Lucky Sovereign, Kevin Meenahan. Modern Bell, Craig Beck with Photographic Eye. Darren Thompson, Ray Bands for Craig Allen and Riot Act for Leon Van Rensburg. So, pretty big field then for this 14. Installed, ready to go, and away they go then. In this opening race of week 11, only two more weeks to go after this. It's gone pretty quickly again, and go forth, my son has gone forth into the lead. And leads them through the first third of the stage, now joined by George Orwell on the Outside, those two are now pulling clear of the remainder of just a bag headed by the village. Gerard Gray, El Paso, Jewel, lucky sovereign on the near side by the rail is fourth, and right over on the far side of the purple and white photographic eye for Darren Thompson. Getting a little bit closer, the bat marker at this early stage is Hills Patchy as they race away from the stands and head onto the back part of the course. Down past the woody cars and trees, and down through Swindley Bottom, and then back into the straight again. And it's go forth, my son. He leads by two lengths to George Orwell in second. He's got a five length advantage over Lucky Sovereign and Anaheim Primo. Photographic eye on the outside, and then El Paso Jewel with Lady Macbeth also close up. The main body of the field are very tightly packed, three lengths separating a lot of them, just about three or four. And go forth, my son has now pulled away from George Orwell. So George Orwell is just dropping back towards the pack and go forth my son is extending by five now then. With George Orwell back in second, drop four. Another grey on the outside has moved through into third. David Robertson got two greys in this one. Airborne Ellis this is the other one who's right out of the back. But it's go forth my son who leads to George Orwell second, drop four third. And then photographic guy is next, then Lady Macbeth and Lucky Sovereign. With Anaheim Primo after that, and Hills Patchy making a bit of a forward move around the outside. It's behind that one in the yellow jacket, Clip Bales. So, um, Sandra Sagram's multi handicapper stepping up in a group company for the first time. Be interested to see how that one goes. But it's go forth, my son in the lead by about five lengths to George Orwell in second, and Lady Macbeth on the outside, just about showing third. And Hills Patchy also getting much closer towards the back of the field modern bell and riot act are now the back two but they're no more than eight lengths off the leader who's coming back to the pack pretty quickly they're coming down towards the final 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 five and a half furlongs and it's go forth my son in the lead by two to hills patchy who's now clear second lady macbeth has gone into third lucky sovereign is four george orwell on the inside is dropping back passed by airborne ellis clip bales is trying to make a forward move on the outside riot act is also trying to get into it but he's having to go quite wide ray bands hasn't been mentioned much that one's been scrubbed along towards the rear as well and clip bales has now dropped to the back so it's go forth my son who's clearing the lead by fall and still to lucky sovereign who's now hit second then comes lady mcmethan hills patchy airborne ellis is trying to get into it el paso jewel is still there as well they've got just over two furlongs still to go and they haven't got to this go forth my son yet he's still two or three lengths clear of lady mcmeth in second lucky sovereign and hills patchy after that one then el paso and Anaheim primo trying to get into it as well but the leader is still backing on the leaders inside the final furlong and he's still in front go forth my son they're getting closer but they've still got two minutes to make up on him there's only half a furlong to go go forth my son needs a line to come and i think he's got to come in time for him go forth my son pillar to post takes it from el paso jewel let him and beth drop four finish well and stable mate here but well, he's dropped right out of it so go forth my son went fourth and won and he took the race by the scruff of the neck from the start of the race and no, nothing got a glove on him really so easy win for that one then go forth my son for Joshua Sutherland the winner El Paso Jewel for Vinnie Gerard second Lady Macbeth Leon Van Rensburg third and Anaheim Primo's fourth for Vinnie Gerard with Hills Patchy fifth for Dan Hughes <laughs>